Hello, it's Pietro Zucco from Macy Circuits and today I'm going to show you how to install the 7 inches Raspberry Pi Touch display. Let's get into it. The Raspberry Pi original monitor comes like this and it has a circuit to control it. So we need to place the Raspberry Pi on top of this. So first we need to remove these screws. Now the Raspberry Pi has these four holes here to place the screws that we are going to use to place it on top of it. But before, I would prefer to connect the cables in the screen. It's going to be easier in this way. It comes with these four cables. The red one goes here, which is the 5 volts. The black one goes here, which is ground. The yellow goes here, which is synchronization. And the green goes here, SDA. Okay, this is the connection that you need on the circuits for the screen. Before we put the Raspberry Pi on top, let's place the cable as well. So this cable, as you can see here, it has this part, which are the contacts, and this other part is isolated. And on the other side is the other way around. This is isolated and here you have the contacts. The way this works is that you have here this lock mechanism. So basically, if I push it down like this, it locks the cable in. When, before you take the cable, you don't have to pull the cable. Don't do that, you might damage it. What you have to do is first move this lock mechanism up. It's very delicate, you have to be very careful. And then now you can take the cable or put the cable in. The contents here are on the upper part. So you have to make sure that this part of the cable that has the metal exposed is the one that goes up here like this. Once the cable is in, gently push the lock. And now it's in. Now, it's easier, we just put the Raspberry Pi on top and screw it back. Usually the first screw don't go all the way down, so you can keep it aligned but without lock it. So you can actually put the second screw in place on this side. Now I can lock and secure this screw and everything is in place and now I can finish this one. Okay, now that we are done with it, here we have exactly the same mechanism. We have this lock in this area here that goes up and down to lock the cable. And again, in this case, the contacts are in this side of it, so you have to put it in this way. Once it's in, we just press and lock it down. Now we have to connect these cables to the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi. So the red goes here, next to it is ground, the green one and the yellow one. At this point, we are ready to go. We can just turn on our Raspberry Pi plug in here the power supply and we should be able to start using our monitor. Okay, it's a bit difficult to show here on the camera. The screen actually looks pretty nice. So here you can see that from a tactile the response is very good and fast. Now the problem is if you open something that you need to actually type, of course this is not a tactile like a, a interface, so you will need a keyboard and a mouse. I just happen to have here a Raspberry Pi mouse, which actually you don't need, you need, you can use any mouse, but I'm a fan, and a Raspberry Pi keyboard. You also can use here mouse and keyboard, and it's still attached to the screen. And you have a normal screen that you can use. One thing to notice is this monitor comes just in this way. You can screw it here on a frame, you can do basically anything you want. There is a case on Amazon that there is a link below. You can check which actually comes and encloses the monitor and also gives you the space to place the Raspberry Pi 4 or other Raspberry Pi models. 
Well, it wasn't that difficult after all. And there are other touch displays you can connect to Raspberry Pi, not just this one. But some of them require some special drivers and some special configuration. May offer also a better resolution, but with this one you're sure it will always work. It's very responsive and it's very good for most projects. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. <music>